Hey, and welcome back to Testus Tuesday Tips. Today we're working on what we call the 100 year old deer. It's not actually 100 years old, but almost. It's 19, what's today? 2017. This was mounted in 1927, 90 years ago, by a kid's great grandpa. He shot in the Santa Monica Mountains. He has pictures, documentation, and everything. I don't normally do repairs because it always turns into a jackpot, but this one was so special that I decided to try to, to do it. I fixed the ears using liquid nails, did a little putty work, and now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna paint the ears. And uh, I haven't done my, my uh, painting sequence video in a long time. But, um, for my North American game, um, I use basically only three colors. I use popcorn, and I use, the popcorn is for my white color, because nothing's really like pure white. Oh boy. And then I use this paint from Home Depot, the popcorn from Home Depot too. This color brown, it's a natural tree bark. Um, it's the perfect white tail brown. And they only sell it bare at Home Depot. And so I just mix it up, thin it with water. So it'll blow through my airbrush. And that's the brown I use. So I start with white in my ears. And I would go in my nostril too a little bit. And when we fog the brown, it's going to blend it. That'll be my tear duct. This thing is interesting because of these marble. I think it truly has some kind of bizarre eye with this white. I've never seen anything like it. It's interesting about taxidermy. You think you've seen it all. Then you see some of these old mounts. And um, you realize, wow. You know, what a difference. I only use acrylic on my game head because it doesn't stick to the the hair at all. Gonna come in with my brown next. And I don't worry about getting it everywhere because it doesn't stick to the paint. I mean the, the paint. It doesn't stick to the hair. I go up here. I go on the dots. I stand back. I get the eye. I come back like this. Then my ears. Hold oh. Okay. My ears have come around the outer edge. I gotta get the top of this because of where I, where I glued it. Anyway, then I come in and do the little stripes. This thing appeared to have cardboard ear liners in it. Interestingly enough. Oops, 
actually got a little up there. Just paint it to taste. These ears aren't really the right shape. So I'll explain it. Okay, then I got my brown. And I'm going to go to my black. You don't put black, use black on the eyes. I mean, I see it done, but they're not, they're not black, they're brown. I mean, I realize I'm not a white tail guy, but still. The black, when I paint it on the eye, I kind of like painting the eye and letting it sit around like that. So not so much direct, you know. Then, come with the black on the nose. Pad. Then on the ears, I'm not going to do the whole ear. I just do like the top, about that much. That's it. Don't worry about how heavy it looks right now because when it dries, we rub it off. It's only going to stick to the hair. I mean, um, not the hair. It's going to only stick to the skin. It's going to come off all the hair. Okay. So that's really about it. Now we just got to let this bad boy dry till tomorrow and I'll um, we call it rub it out. Don't take that in the wrong way. We'll rub the head out and then <laughs> the camera guy is laughing and then we'll take and put some satin on the nose and in the tear ducts and stuff you know and finish it up. But pretty much um, every once in a while I violate my own rules about repairs. Something like this is preserving the heritage, you know, of that family. And uh, so I, I took this one on. But normally, boy, you get all kinds of jackpots on some repairs on old stuff. It's like you, you touch one end to fix it, the other end grenades, you know. So, anyhow. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Testus Tuesday Tips.